So the previous video slash blog post, whatever you want to say on my channel was a, like a kind of a list of the top gems I like with, I mean, there's plenty of gems out there. There's more that I use, but those were the ones that came about in my mind. Uh, but I remember looking back at that list, I, I forgot one that I use quite a bit, and it's called High Voltage by ThoughtBot. And I wanted to do just a quick run through of what it is and why I use it. Um, there's no reason, rhyme or reason you really need to use this. You can generate your own pages in your app, but the, the general consensus is if you need static pages on your Rails app, this is a great solution to do so. And the idea is it you install this gem, there's a uh, directory in your views that's called pages, and within that are just simple HTML pages that are ERB and enhanced, of course. Uh, that allow you to just have some static pages on your site. So these are great for like about us pages or marketing related stuff. If you include that in your Rails app, sometimes those apps are separate. Maybe you have a marketing site and then your Rails app connects to it in some way. But I use this commonly just because it's a quick win. Um, I could set up, for instance, create a sites controller or a static controller in my Rails app and then just create static actions, be they like about or contact or whatever. Um, and that works too, but then you just have, you know, more, more to manage. And this gem kind of just takes care of it. There's this handy helper called page path um, that has uh, basically you just pass in the, the root directory within the view. So say it's pages about you pass in that namespace and it'll link to it just, just um, as easy as you'd expect. So let's install it first. I have a Rails app running. I'm using my kickoff Tailwind template just to save some time. You guys don't have to use this. I just find it's quick and easy for me to set up a new project when I, when I run uh, new concepts by you. So this is what it looks like as default. Uh, feel free to download it, contribute. Um, there's PR, PRs are welcome if you have anything you wanna suggest. Uh, but let's let's go ahead and install the gem. Um, I'm running Ruby 2.7, by the way, which is the latest and greatest. It's got some errors coming in the console, so don't fear if you see those, if you're running something similar. Um, but yeah, so let's open this in our code editor. I'm using VS Code. I'm probably going to put it in a new desktop just to consolidate here. And in the gem file, we're going to add the high voltage gem. Uh, again, I'm using Rails 6 as well. So let's go and add that. Uh, we could just put it after everything here. Uh, I'll find the rate, the latest version. I think it's 3.1 on their GitHub. So we can just run bundle install next or just bundle if you want. Great. So with that, you can just create a directory in your views app and your app uh, that has pages and this will kind of just work. There is some configuration to be had. Uh, that allows you to con con uh, create an initializer and do some stuff from the top down. So we'll, we'll do that in a second, but let's just go ahead and create that pages directory. And I'll do it just with the code editor because it's quicker. So we'll just say pages and let's create some base pages for now, like say about and perhaps, um, I don't know, privacy. You see these commonly are just static pages and I'm, I'm using Tailwind CSS just because that template I installed has it. You can use whatever you want. I'm just going to do some basic styling here. Uh, yeah, so that's basic stuff. We don't have to go too crazy here. I just want to show you by example that this works out of the box. And we can boot this up in the browser by running Rails server. I think I might have it running. I do. So it's going to bark and say it's already running. So let's go to our kickoff template. And of course, you don't see anything new, but if you go to pages about, I think this should just work. And I'm wrong. So let's go and find out why. So before that would work, we still need to just reboot the server. So let's do that and refresh. Hope that works. Yeah, there we go. So without any routing enhancements or anything, our gem just kind of handles it. So that's something to consider. So if you want to create your own controller, for instance, the way I would normally do this without the gem would be Rails generate controller and just say like a static controller with like an index or like a home action. And then that would generate the controller, the view, and then you would get that get request in the route. So that's three things you would have to count for in adding it to your app. Uh, whereas the gem just kind of does it for you. 
So commonly in my apps, uh, I see this pages URL uh, scope and I'm not too fond of it. So one great thing about the gym, and I wish they would do this by default, to be honest, is just to go ahead and do this drawer thing, route, route drawers, which just basically, you still have this concept of pages in your views, but it just renders the slash about instead of slash, go to here, slash about instead of slash pages about. So we can go ahead and confirm that by creating an initializer in our configuration directory, and we can call it high voltage. RB, and we can pass in the, with this configuration they have in the docs right here. And I'll show you what happens. So you probably need to reboot your server at this point. I'll do that. All right, and we can refresh. Oh, no pages about. Well, that's because there's no pages scope anymore. So we can go directly to about and voila, you have about pages, static pages at your disposal. Uh, on top of that, I think there are some other features you can have if you wanna have a specific home page or directory, you can add those. Um, if you wanna remove the routing that the high voltage provides, you can do that and provide your own. Um, on top of that, we can go and add paths to these pages uh, like so. So say, let's go into the header and go and fix that. So in the application, I just have basic stuff here uh, with Tailwind, of course. So we have, if user signed in, uh, maybe we'll just add it here next to that basic link. We could just say link to about, and then just do page path, which is coming from that gem, and just pass in a string of the page and mention. So that's pretty neat. So we could just say that. Let's copy the styles here just to Keep it consistent. And if you don't use Tailwind or know what any of these classes mean, totally cool. You don't need to for this particular video or tutorial. So there's about, and we can go directly to it. So here's our homepage, about, and there we go. You notice the URL is exactly as we'd hoped. And then we can do the same with privacy, you know, too. So why don't we do something a little fancy and do a couple levels deep. So maybe we have like, um, reports and then I don't know I'm making totally making this up downloads and then there's just like list of downloads or something on this page this is straight HTML too so you you can pass uh, Ruby to it but you probably won't use it as much as you would like in your controller where you can actually pass for, uh, rails active record objects and stuff down so let's go and say downloads and then just, you know, this would be downloads of some sort. Maybe it's like press releases or some random shit. And then you can, you don't even need to reboot the server at that point. You can just go to about, uh, let's add that path into the, the header, just like we had it. So let's go to the header or application HTML right next to about, we can just say, let's call it, um, just, let's just call it downloads, whatever. But you can house this however you want in your views app or views directory and just say, what do we do over here? Pages, reports, downloads. So we could say reports, downloads, boom. So if we refresh, we get download. I'm gonna make that plural just cause that bugs me. And right there, notice it's scoped now. So as easy as that, this gem, you know, it's one of those things that just kind of brings a smile to your face because you install it. It's pretty much ready to go. Um, that drawer configuration thing I pretty much always use because I don't like that pages uh, scope. It wouldn't really be great for SEO or linking to someone. But anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one. The gym itself, I would recommend. It's by the folks at ThoughtBot, which they know their shit when it comes to Ruby on Rails. So definitely follow them if you're into the Rails community or looking for feedback or something like that. They have a lot of stuff that that um, has contributed to the Rails community, which many pr um, kudos to them for that. So this was a quick one. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any feedback, let me know. And I hope you enjoy the gym. All right, peace guys.